The Business of Fashion is a website dedicated to opening, informing, and connecting the global fashion community. Um, we have readers that range from students in fashion schools to the you know, CEOs of top global brands. Um, a lot of these people use BOF to start their day, to inspire and spark conversations in classrooms and studios and boardrooms. It's really about provoking a global conversation about the state of the fashion industry. So I happened to start writing uh, BOF at a time when the world was about to go through some pretty incredible changes. Um, technology, consumer technology was emerging um, very quickly. We went from you know, typing on Blackberries to using smartphones in a matter of a few months. The first iPhone launched in 2007 and there's been a rapid acceleration of, of mobile technology that everyone has in their pockets all the time. We saw the rise of social media, uh, blogs first, but then Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and Tumblr, and also globalization and the economic crisis, which gave me a lot to write about. So you had all these forces kind of working together and um, it, just, it was good timing. When I first came to Montreal, I think one of the main reasons I chose to attend McGill was because I felt this I felt this kind of infectious energy in the streets here and what I noticed is that there was this almost innate ability of Montrealers to express themselves through their style and I love that individuality I love that sense of boldness and brashness to be who you wanted to be and you know just walking the streets in Montreal for me was really inspirational and it helped me this is where I caught the fashion bug well I know Montreal Fashion Week has just folded and I think that that's a sign of the times frankly there's too many fashion weeks around the world well I always say and not just to people in Montreal but also to people in Sydney or people in Bombay or people in other parts of the world which is the fashion industry is a global market and if you want to operate in a global market you need to go to where the market is so fashion criticism ha is such an important part of what pushes the industry forward there are some voices like Tim Blanks and Kathy Horan and Susie Menkes who help all of us in the industry to think differently about fashion to place fashion in a wider context beyond the surface. They help us to understand fashion in a cultural context, in an economic context, uh, and they teach all of us. And they are able to challenge the designers to push their craft further. Um, we need more of these voices in the fashion industry today because those are the voices that help all of us up our game and, 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 and achieve the best that we can. And without those voices, I fear um, that we'll just be talking in an echo chamber of self-congratulatory praise.